House of Member and Paros constituents in Ogun State. President Tinobu congratulates new Senegalese president on election victory. Nigeria's first lady to flag off women agricultural support program. Good evening, you are welcome to NTAJ Body News at 7. I am Titila UK. Thanks for staying tuned with us. Now, the news in details. President Bola Tinobu has extended his congratulations to Mr. Bashir Dioma Ifai on his election as the President of the Republic of Senegal. The report. President Faisal Media and Publicity and Jerry Gilali, President Tinubu notes that the president elect comes with great promise and a sterling record, wishing him success as he takes on this important job of leading the good people of Senegal. The president also congratulates the outgoing president, Marquis Sall, for overseeing an election that has been widely adjudged as peaceful and transparent. President Tinubu states that the success of the presidential election in Senegal and the successful conduct of the general election in Liberia a few months ago affirmed his long-held conviction that the top root of democracy is deeply established in West Africa and will only grow stronger as it is watered by good governance, justice and fairness to all. As the chairman of ECOWAS, the president affirms that the successful conduct of the Senegal election is a boost to the sub-regional organization in its efforts to promote peace and constitutional order as well as strengthening ties among member states. President Tinubu congratulates the people of Senegal and assures them of Nigeria's best wishes and support. The federal government has held the pivotal role of youth and creativity in shaping Nigeria's future, declaring that innovation is the driving force behind the nation's manufacturing sector. Vice President Kashim Shetima at the official launch of the National Design and Innovation Competition in the Presidential Villa emphasized that the future belongs to the youth and the creatives, state as correspondent Abdurrahman Jubila reports. Consigned by the increasing reports of educational certificates reactoring, the House of Representatives has launched an investigation into the matter. As a follow-up to a motion to that effect, moved by the Chairman House Committee on University Education, Abubakar Zan Fulata, during plenary, de plenary de committee, is set to hold an investigative hearing. National Assembly correspondent Muhammad Rabi Ali reports that the chairman of four various committees are primarily to carry out the investigation on the matter and report back to the House. The report. As part of another round of intervention, the Renewed Hope Initiative will in the next few weeks flag, flag off its Women Agricultural Support Programs, WSP, for other geopolitical zones in the country. While announcing this at a quarterly meeting with wives of state governors at the villa, Nigeria's First Lady Uluwe Mutinobu urged them and other points of contact with an initiative to do more felicitating smooth delivery of opportunities to, be, to the beneficiaries in their respective states. State House Correspondent Adeniyi Taibo Azmo. The quarterly meeting with Renewed Hope Initiative State Coordinators is a platform to take stock, get reports from the subnationals on the implementation of ongoing interventions, as well as get updates for coming programs. Since the last meeting, interventions including Women Agricultural Support Program, WASP, have been implemented in the Southeast, while distribution of free exercise books across the state was also flagged off in the FCT, while she applauded the implementation of some of the programs, especially WASP, an alternative high school for girls in Bauchi State, the first lady notes that the number of beneficiaries for scholarships and other opportunities will increase even further with coordinators doing more for their citizens to access available opportunities. So I want us to be good ambassadors of our various states and take all this home. Done with stock taking, the first lady also took time out to enumerate some of the interventions lined up 
starting with agriculture. Collaboration with the Ministry of Agri for Agricultural Programs for Women and Young Men. So we want every state to give us 100 beneficiaries, 75 women and 25 young men who are into farming or who would want to go into farming. And there is more. Ted Fund. Their intervention is to support us uh, in our various tertiary institutions. So they are looking at infrastructure improvement, scholarship, donation, equipment of ICT facilities to our tertiary institutions in the state. So we want you to nominate one institution to start with. She also announced April 13th for the launch of the We Are Equal campaign of the Organization of African First Ladies for Development, OFLAD, in keeping with her pledge to use education as a focal point in driving the campaign. In the State House, Adeni Itaiwo, NTA News. The program of the federal government on the development and implementation of low carbon and climate resilient strategies in critical sectors such as forestry, agriculture, and energy will soon commence in Russian states. To this end, the Board of National Council on Climate and some foreign investors met with Governor Ademola Deleke at the government house in Oshobo. Femi Afariogo reports. The National Council on Climate Change selected Osho State as a pilot site for the multi-million naira biodiversity and carbon investment project to be sited at Agowu Forest in Ayeda Ade, local government area of the state. This visit by the council and French investors to Governor Ademola Adeliki is to highlight that the project will provide technical and financial assistance to the state to develop and implement low carbon and climate resilient strategies in key sectors such as forestry, agriculture, and energy. For Ocean State, uh, this project is a win-win project. The, first of all, the project will empower the forest-dependent communities. The project will also contribute to social economic development. Much more importantly, this project focuses on carbon um, offsetting, all right, and um, carbon credit. So when we are in, if for those countries or those organizations that are in carbon deficit, they can buy carbon credit from Ocean State. The opportunity is rare, and Osho State government assured the French partners and the federal government of its readiness for smooth takeoff of the project. I have directed action on due diligence to ensure that the interests of all parties are duly protected. My team will enter into full technical discussion with you to ensure successful takeoff. The project is a tripartite collaboration between the Presidency, the National Council on Climate Change, and an energy company in France. In Oshogbo Femi, Afari Ogun, NTA News. In accordance with President Tinobu's directive to members of the National Assembly to return to their constituents and question the effect of the subsidy removal, a member representing, representing Ijebu North, Ijebu East, and Ogun Rotterside in the House of Representatives, Honorable Joseph Adekbeson, has empowered over 3,000 traders in his constituency. Anthony Gandoni reports that over 7,000 residents also received palliatives. The report. The event put together by Honorable Joseph Adegbes on representing the Jebu North, Jebu East, and Ogun Waterside Federal Constituency in conjunction with the Center for Agricultural Mechanization has in attendance beneficiaries selected from across all political wars of the constituency, all progressive Congress, APC shiftings, and community leaders. According to the Honorable, the main purpose of the event was to identify with his people and also encourage them, especially with the current economic downturn in the country. The present government is a lazy government. It knows we are the um, should be busy citizens of the of the country. Just like a building, you can collapse a building in five, five minutes, but to rebuild it is not easy. So the same thing is happening. Let them bear with the government. Let them be patient. This will soon be okay by the best grace. 
the lawmaker while assuring members of his constituency of more dividend of democracy called for more understanding and patience with President Tinumbu's administration. A lot of programs are in pipeline. I want to do empowerment. As I said during my speech, I have a, um, a grand machine here. We have a corn grinding machine. We have a, a rice uh, millers. We have a um, um, pumping machines here and there. And we are still going to, uh, we are, I'm still going to provide more so that we can do a for our people. Applauding the motives behind the event, shiftings of all Progressive Congress APC expressed confidence in the present administration. This kind of project is not new to us from engineer Joseph Follon Shoadik Besson. He's a lovable man, he's a man of the people. He has always been giving back to the community. And this one um, is a testimonial to what the presidency said it's going to do to all the states through the federal members of the House of Representatives, and which he did announce in December. In December, he did similar thing from his own post to every nooks and cranny, but that's not the federal government's own. Something that has been, been in a bad position for more than 20 years, it's not easy to repair it within a shortest period. At least it's not up to one year in the office. Our people should be able to exercise patience in order to enjoy the benefits of the democracy. Some beneficiaries, while appreciating the Honorable added that both cash and food palliatives will go a long way in bringing soccer to their standard of living. In Ijebuode, Anthony Gandunu, MTA News. Stay tuned, we'll be back after the break. Not a chance. Aisha. We don't quit, guys. I'll be there. Done. Two files received. I'm on my way. Take first right in 50 meters and you're there. Copy that. Aisha, where are you? Guess where? Two minutes, two minutes, move! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Runway X. The future of fashion showcases. How did you pull that off? With Nigeria's top tech talents. And glow. Power your relentless ambition with ultra high speed data. Glow with pride. Hi, Zara. Come on! <laughs> Come and help me! We can sell them now! We'll be able to break our fossil this evening. Come on, take up this. This is what you have to do. You understand? You have to help. Oh, don't worry. Things don't matter. It can be wiped off with just one wash. Okay. Thank you. Zara! The federal government's drive to support industrial growth in Nigeria is hanging largely on adequate and sustainable power supply. Key players share this position as the National Conference of the National Union of Textile, Garment and Tailoring Workers of Nigeria. Joseph Austin reports. It is a convergence of workers from the cotton, textile, garment and self-employed tailoring sector across Nigeria, with a focus on strengthening the union's power to drive sustainable industrialization. The revived cotton, textile, and garment industry has the capacity to transform Nigeria economy, create over 2 million jobs, reduce over $4 billion import bill in cure annually on textile and apparel. 
Key players here want the organized level to play a critical role in interrogating the nation's industrial policies, drawing attention to inadequate power supply in the country as a major hurdle. We need to engage the government on the issue of stable power supply. So to bring the industries back, we must find out where did they go. They left because the cost of diesel was no longer affordable and power was not there. And you can't run industrialization with diesel, diesel-driven economy. It's not sustainable. And pay more attention to industrial areas. Like I said, employers can have industrial cluster where they produce. Even with the main power company, you say this area, you know, a production hour is six hours or eight hours. Within that period, you must give them supply. The federal government recently established three funds amounting to 200 billion naira to support businesses across the country with interest rate of 9%. But discussions are pushing for reforms in the power sector for the sustainability of these businesses as the present administration sets the target of creating 50 million jobs. In Abuja, Joseph Utsen, NTA News. The leadership of People's Democratic Party is concerned about the need to reposition the party and begin early preparations ahead of the 2024 general elections. The party's National Working Committee has met with state chairman of the party in this direction at the, at the PDP National Secretariat in Abuja. Timothy Yusuf reports. It was a closed-door meeting that later opened to convey resolutions to the media. The party's acting national chairman, Ambassador Umar Damagum, disclosed that the interactive meeting was called towards finding strategic solutions to party's challenges. National Organizing Secretary Umar Bature emphasized the need to review the party's leadership positions at world, local government and state levels nationwide and also deal with issues of members involving in anti-party activities. I would like to have agitation for coming from party members suspended, suspended. But you are the one who are in charge of those things. But you will tell us who did anti-party, who did do anti-party, who did this, who did that, did that. Based on those reports, you are a member of NEP, decisions can be taken. The party is to soon review the tenor of 26 states working committee, beginning from the world, local government and state, following the expiration or soon to expire of their tenure of office. The resolution is that we should all go back and make sure that our respective state uh, chapters of the party are working. Meanwhile, the National Working Committee of the PDP has continued to engage with the Ondo state stakeholders towards the conduct of a hitch free governorship primary election. So we have contributed immensely to building this party. It is time for the party to, to look at us. The party promised to be neutral and fair to all concerned. Timothy Yusuf, NT News. We are for you for tonight. I remain to tell you okay. Thanks for staying to with us. Have a nice rest.